Hey there, uh, it's B16 from Roots Wiki, and you're watching Super User TV. Um, today we're going to be doing a review on the DSLR controller app by Chainfire. Um, just a quick notice though, this is blurry on purpose. And the reason I am doing this is so I can show you by the touch of a screen, you can focus. Amazing, isn't it? And you can see finger in screen, fingerception. Now, we're going to go ahead and go over some of the cool features this offers. One of them is that the coolest feature is that you can control your camera with your smartphone. Um, this is a Galaxy Nexus GSM model, and the film is being recorded with a Canon 60D with a 17 to 55 millimeter f-stop at 2.8 lens. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first thing you'll notice, it only works in... Um, landscape. So let's go ahead and focus on the phone real quick. There you go, nice and focused. Touch off the focus. Uh, what you can do here is you can actually move where you want to focus wherever you want. So if we want to focus on these buttons here, move it and touch it. There you go. Now let's go back to the center. There you go. Okay, let's start with uh, some of the features you can do while recording. Um, first off, you can focus while recording. Um, it was advised against by Chain Fire, but I'm doing it for proof of concept. Uh, this is version 0 0.91, and hopefully we will see version 1.0 soon with some cool new features. Um, as you can see, you can check your balances and red, green, and blue balances. Uh, the magnification button does not work, not while in recording. Um, you can change your aspect ratio and what you would like for a grid. So we're going to turn on the grid and we're going to go ahead and make sure that it's a 16 by 9 ratio. There we go. So let's go back to the grid we had. Uh, nothing's being cropped there. Um, the delay time, you can see there is a little bit uh, as I move my index finger. I really didn't expect this to be instantaneous because there's a lot of power being drawn here. Um, there is a little bit of warmth behind the back of the phone for processing power, the OMAP floor, who would have thought. Um, let's go over some more features. Um, this is your record button. There will be a shutter button there if you were just doing still photos. Um, you have your settings and you can scroll through everything nice and fluid. Uh, you can't really see that, it's quite bright on the screen, but let's go ahead and can't control that while I'm in here. So it tells you about what all is enabled and disabled. You have everything from image review, HDR audio, auto exposure bracketing, focus bracketing, time lapse, ramper, full screen live view, configuration, lots of stuff here. I'm not going to go over all of it. But if we touch off the screen, you can change the autofocus and manually control it on screen quite cool if you ask me. Um, since I am doing a review here and I want you to see what I'm doing, I'm not actually going to play with those at this moment. I'm showing you what you have here. So let's go ahead and turn that off. Um, another thing that's really cool when you're shooting just stills is that down here you have an array of just all kinds of things. Anything from ISO, shutter speed, to f-stop. Uh, this is the f-stop 2.8 lens so it lets in more light at a or lets in more light in low light situations. Um, this app is just killer. So let's talk about the price. It's eight dollars and fifty-two cents in the Google Play Store. Uh, well worth it. Higher rated than any of the other apps that are anywhere from two to seven dollars more. Um, bad news for the iOS users. It's not available. Too bad. Too sad. Got to be with the green robot on this one. Um, well worth the. It's under ten bucks. Uh, most apps don't cost any more than two to three dollars. I, I would just highly recommend getting this. If you are a um, photo junkie, I am becoming one. The more I play with stuff like this, this is great. Um, huge shout out to Chain Fire for sending this over to us to let us play with it. Um, what is required to get this working? It's all plug and play. As soon as you turn on your camera and plug it into your phone, it just works. It pops up, asks you what action you'd like to use in order to use it, and you go ahead and. Tell it that you want to use DSLR controller. 
go ahead and focus on these. So, um, another thing that I'd like to bring up is that you need an OTG cable. Canon likes to be difficult. Right now, this is what I'm using. Let me go ahead and focus in on it using DSLR controller. You can see it right there. It's the same one that you use to plug in your phone. You plug that into your phone and plug the camera cable into that. That's it and it just works. Awesome. Get these on Amazon for about three bucks. Um, we have a few extras laying around so leave a comment if you need one. Let us know. We can get a hold of you and send one out to you. I don't need five of these laying around. There was a messed up order at Amazon. I've got some of these laying around. It's awesome. Um, thank you guys for watching. Um, this is DSLR controller by Chainfire. Uh, go ahead and check the link in the in the post. Read it, comment, tell us what you think, and um, make sure to go get it. Thanks.